Welcome to Learn to Use Your Online Class Space for the Diploma of Counselling. We're aiming to learn how to log into the student portal and navigate around. We want to know how to stay informed, find out what to do in the class spaces each week and how to find and submit assignments. We'll also look at communicating with the teacher and other students. There's a link to the student portal on your college website up here at the top right. You can also go directly to the student portal at this address. When you arrive at the student portal, click on the login button here. If you're a new student, your username and password will have been emailed to you before the start of your course. If you're a continuing student, your username and password remain the same. If you can't find your login details, click here and there are some different options for sorting out your login, including talking to a real person at the IT help desk. When you log in, you'll see this page first and it's a good idea to keep an eye on the college news and the campus news. There are options at the top here for the news, which we can see on the screen, then an option to go into your online class spaces. You have a link to your personal details, to your enrolment information, to your academic results and to your financial statements here. There are also buttons to these sections up here. At the very top right, you can log out go to your student email account and also go to how to guides and the IT help desk. These how to guides are really useful. For example, here are instructions for how to submit assignments online. As well as using this link to your online class spaces, you can also use this drop down menu at the top. This is useful if you're a continuing student as this menu has a link to the archived classes you did up to trimester 2, 2016. To access classes from trimester 3 to 2016 onwards, click on My Current Classes. So now we're in the Online Classes section. On this page you'll see a list of your modules and also a link to the VET Student Lounge. Let's look at that. As you can see, the Student Lounge has lots of helpful sections. The VET News is great to stay on top of what's happening with the School of VET. There's a page with key contacts within the school and information for new students. Let's look at this compulsory workshops page. If you're studying online, you need to attend some workshops to develop your practical skills. There's information here and dates when the workshops are on at each campus. Get in touch with the VET coordinators to discuss which workshops you need. Now onto the Student Lounge page again. There are links here to enrolment information, placement information and a question forum where you can post questions for staff to answer. This student forums page is good because there's a place to buy and sell textbooks and find a study buddy. Then there's information about jobs and volunteering here. Now back to the My Classes page. Let's go into a class space. This module is Communication Skills and Relationships. Let's look at getting set up for study. We want to access this manual which has the main content for the module. This opens a PDF document that you can save or print if you want. The manual has most of the content for each week of the course and instructions on what to do in that week. Some of the content each week may be from the course textbook and you can find the textbook name in the manual here. So in any given week, you work through the manual section for that week and also check the instructions in the weekly list here in the class space. There are links to extra resources, activities and forums in these weekly sections. These activities and forums are particularly important if you're studying online as they allow you to interact with your teacher and classmates. Another important thing we want to find is the assignment questions. At the top of the main class page is a link called Module Overview and Assessment Requirements. Click on this to open a PDF document containing the assignment questions and marking criteria. When you're ready to submit your assignment, Go to the week it's due and there will be a submission link there. When your teacher has marked your assignment, you'll get an email to your student email account. OK, before we finish, let's look at how to stay up to date with class news and learn how to communicate with your teacher and fellow students. Announcements from your teacher and other ACAP staff are made here. The discussion forum here is a way to ask questions and communicate with your teacher and classmates. Your teacher reads the posts in here and replies to questions. If you want to ask your teacher a private question, email is a good way to do that. 
Here there's information again on workshop dates, which you'll need to look at if you're studying a practical module online. The student calendar here helps you plan your time, and the referencing guide is here to help you get the hang of using APA referencing. The VET team or your teacher may organise live chat or Skype sessions during the term. Keep an eye on the announcements forum for details. If you're attending a live chat session, the link is here. The student learning support team can help you get comfortable with online study, help you understand your assignments and build your study skills and confidence. Don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Good luck with your studies.